Five years ago, NASA's Hubble Space Telescope spotted a large comet at the farthest distance ever, as it was hurtling towards the Sun from way out between the orbits of Saturn and Uranus. This huge comet also dubbed as C-2017 K2 will make its closest approach to Earth on July 14 and will be close to the Sun on December 19. The comet, C-2017 K2, was first spotted in 2017 using the PanSTARRS telescope in Hawaii, followed by a Hubble telescope observation that same year. The comet was a record-breaker at the time, becoming the farthest active inbound comet ever seen at a distance of 1.5 billion miles from the Sun. As the comet started approaching Sun, it started to produce a large dust cloud also known as coma. This dust cloud was large enough that it was almost the same size as Jupiter. Five years on, the comet is much closer to us and our star and will glide past Earth in just a few weeks. Astronomers are still unsure exactly how big Comet C-2017 K2 is, but it's potentially huge. Initial observations suggested it may be up to 100 miles wide, though Hubble data puts it at a much more conservative 12 miles wide. As the comet neared the Sun, it started to produce a large dust cloud. This dust cloud was large enough that it was almost the same size as Jupiter. It appears that Comet C-2017 K2 is currently in a permanent coma and its tail is quite active. It is possible that this comet is still active and generating gas and dust, which could explain its strange appearance. This can be a bit of an issue. A comet needs to be close to the sun to be active and visible, since the sun's heat causes the comet to release gas and dust. The object C-2017 K2 is still far from the Sun, so it's hard to say what's going on. It is possible that the activity is being driven by something else. For instance, ice mixing with other substances. But we don't know for sure. At the time of its discovery in 2017, Comet C-2017 K2 was thought to be the farthest known active comet. Now, C-2014 UN-271 is the longest period comet that is currently known. The comet's strange appearance has drawn attention from astronomers and space enthusiasts alike, as it has seemingly defied all expectations. While the cause of its unique behavior remains a mystery, the comet's unusual appearance is a reminder of the many mysteries surrounding the mysterious phenomena of our universe. C-2017 K2 may be visible to the naked eye, so keep an eye out for it if you have a telescope handy. Although C-2014 UN-271 is not set to pass by Earth until 2031, don't worry, it also won't hit us. Comets are relatively rare compared to asteroids or meteors. The current number of known comets is 3,743 according to NASA, while there are tens of thousands of known near-Earth asteroids. Comets and asteroids are both types of rocks that hang out in space, but their differences are pretty pronounced. Comets typically hail from the outer solar system and have long, elliptical orbits. They're filled with ices that start to sublimate when the comet gets close to the sun, generating a dusty, misty atmosphere, also called as coma, and the famous cometary tails. To see this comet live, you can check public online observatories like the Virtual Telescope Project that are certain to host watch parties at some point. You can also get your hands on a telescope and start practicing spotting objects now using an app like Stellarium, which will also be able to point your lenses in the right direction as the comet comes closer. Whatever happens, this visit will likely be our only chance to get acquainted with this comet. Its orbit is so long that it won't be back for a few million years. It won't be hitting us, but if you have a telescope, you could be treated to an absolute treat in the sky over the summer. If you really like our video feel free to support us with a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe our channel Space Bites and look forward to the videos that will be waiting for you in the future.